Shall we just start now? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm Isabel. Um, I'm a lawyer um, and has been contributing to the open source community in Taiwan, not by writing codes, but by uh, reading the, helping the community to understanding the free and the open source software licenses since 2000. I still remember the first time I read the uh, GNU general public licenses. I was totally shocked as I, w I was working for a big law firm and dealing with intellectual property cases, proprietary, uh, uh, of course. And uh, anyway, I found the um, ideas and approaches and the community and the people are fascinating. So I become a contributor and by, um, with my legal professions. And uh, now I'm the Gov Bureau Joseon's chairperson. And um, Joseon is the tax board which held uh, um, the Gov Bureau Hackson every other month since 2012. And Joe means uh, inviting people to join something uh, in Taiwanese. And the song means Hackson. So Joseon means uh, inviting people to Hackson. The Joseon members has been organizing the, uh, organized the Gov Bureau Hackson since 2012. And uh, I'm currently also the General Secretary of Taiwan AI Academy. And we are initiating the first nonprofit open source AI platform uh, for small and medium enterprises in Taiwan. What I want to share today is um, um, uh, open source is a good thing. I think all of you already know about that. And I think this is something you may not be aware of yet. Um, I think everyone, including people who don't code, should have a chance to contribute to an open source project. By contributing to an open source project, they contribute to the society. And um, I, I want to con convince you this by telling you the story of GovZero.tw. So what is GovZero? G0V, what is it? Uh, yesterday morning, a GovZero contributor sent this message to the GovZero Slack, showing the answer to get what he got when he asked, asked the question, what is GovZero to the open AI chatbot? So this is not, so this is, a, it, it is that GovZero is an open source operating system developing in Taiwan, in Taiwan which is right, but it is not uh, an o open source software. So now I want to um, come to the, the first open uh, GovZero project I want to introduce to you. It's a project trying to resolve the problem of disinformation. The project's name is COFAX. COFAX is an information checking platform operated through crowd collaboration and the chatbot to have discrete uh, messages of unknown credibility carefully reviewed and discussed through the joint efforts of the public. You can forward the skeptical messages to the chat, COFAC chatbots, and if the content of the message is already reviewed by the COFAC editing community or other fact-checking organizations, the chatbot will send back the result of the fact to you immediately. If not, it will be saved in the COFAC database awaiting for review to be reviewed. The database is CC licensed, so a lot, many, several uh, commercial companies use the, data ba uh, the database to provide their own um, fact-checking products. And uh, the project, the code are open sourced, so the projects are forked in some other country, such as Thailand and uh, India. So another, um, if, so if the answer is sent uh, to COVAX for fact checking, I think the results will be it is disinformation. This, this then another GovZero job, GovZero participant job chatbot answer who acts in Chinese Mandarin. Um, okay. What is Gov, GovZero.tw? It is said, um, think, so the, the answer is not completely right. Um, also, so what exactly GovZero is? 
Since 2012, the civic hacker movement has risen up, calling for transparency and public participation. The Gulf Zero community hosted its first hackathon in late 2012, which called uh, Hackathon Zero, using right, right code to change society as its catchphrase. The civic hacking spark was set off back then, and it continued burning r until now. Within 10 years, with contribution of thousands of participants, through hack zones, the com community has set up many pr platforms aimed at creating more open data or promoting open government, worked to reduce the digital divide, and worked to reduce the barrier to public participation to make public oversight a reality. The community has also promoted the value of ration, rational public dialogue in this movement for open data and uh, uh, collaboration within the government. For the, um, in this movement for open data and open government, the GovDeo community has established a new model for civil society to collaborate with the government. As of December 4th, GovDeo Slack has more than 700 channels with more than 12,000 participants. The community has hosted uh, 40, uh, 53 hackathons and four international summits. So what exactly these people do? Um, we, we set up the manifesto, we come from everywhere. We are ci citizens collaborating to bring about change. So what exactly do these people do? Let's look back at what happened in the past three years. The collaboration occurred during the pandemic and made huge impact. The pandemic affected different countries in different time frames. In, um, in early December 2020, um, the situation began getting very serious. And because Taiwan was hit heavily by SARS in early 2000, when th things getting worse, Taiwanese people got very anxious and it become more and more difficult to get masks and uh, sanitizers. Then someone take action. And this is Howard. He runs a Goody studio in China, which is an important community to, for Google de uh, developers in the South. He is a GovZero contributor. He co-hosted GovZero hackathons with Zhou uh, Song in China in December 2019. Howard's family has no shortage of, of masks, but when he went to the street stores, he saw similar scenes repeated. People walked into the convenience store with anticipation, and there was a huge request, a long queue, when, and there was a long queue. When they heard the clerk say, masks are sold out, they sighed and left, and went to the next store to try their luck. In the line group of relatives and friends, people often share messages reminding that this store is sold out and that one just arrived. In this, Howard thought if this kind of information is shared publicly, would it save more people's time? So in the midnight of, uh, after he sent her daughter to sleep, he turn, decided to turn on the computer and write a program. After six or seven hours, um, after six or seven hours, um, he finished. Uh, he completed the convenient uh, store mask status reporting map, calling on the public to to report in the intermediate sales of masks at tens, of, at thousands of convenience stores across Taiwan. The mask, mask map is so popular, Howard got a bill of 20,000 US dollar bill from Google, not, China, not in um, at new Taiwan dollars because he uses Google Maps service. And then um, at first, the mask map rely on information reported by the general public. Afterwards, through the coordination of the um, OG Tom, our digital minister, who is a 
founding member and also senior contributors of GovZero. The uh, developer cooperated within government and was able to utilize data provided by the NHI database, making the information on the mask map more comprehensive. When the government releasing the open data to real time, um, of real time mask stock, developers created more than 100 different kinds of apps and websites to providing information for people who are trying to buy masks. So all this development coordination happened um, on the Google, um, on the GovZero Slack. And um, with strict border control and the guarantee, the positive cases was very low. And the Taiwanese people live without lockdown of any level for, for 15 months until May 21st. When the spiral cases, uh, when the spiral of uh, confirmed cases, there are more than 900 participants working on 15 projects with online tools in one week. And um, this project re uh, includes, uh, includes aggregation, visualization, and the even fact check mechanism of information, which will help individuals to take the right action to fight against the pandemic. And this uh, creates a social solidarity, which is crucial to the success of con containing the pandemic. Many of these projects were updated and expanded by the feedback and the crowdsourcing of its users. So one unique project is uh, the 191922. This is uh, Taiwan and the far away that is uh, Texas in the uh, United States. S is a GovZero contributor and was organized, uh, uh, organizer of GovZero Summit uh, in 2016. He was studying quantum computing for a PhD degree. He was worried about his family and friends in Taiwan because most people was not vaccinated at that time. He discussed a mechanism of contact tracing with fellow GovZero contributors in Taiwan. They co invented this mechanism of contact tracing based on text messages. OG Tong bring back the invention back to the government and um, the government work across sectors with telecom carrier to deploy it as 1922 SMS system in a week, scanning a QR code with your phone building camera and uh, sending a toll free text message. This allow con contact tracer to trace the footprints of the infected people without revealing any private information to the venue owners. So, how does this start? What motivates the founding members of GovZero? The, um, the answer is anger. The technology of the service is not difficult. For example, a senior engineer with four or five years of experiences can do a mask map. In an interview, Howard said, the difficulty is the motivation. Most people may feel that he has that he has nothing to do with that, so they don't want to do it. I think Howard's experience within the GovZero community gave him the motivation when the island faced the threat of the COVID. Back in 2012, because of the housing inflation, President at that time, Mr. Ma, they released um, housing. He met the housing justice a key component of his 2012 re-election promise. In an attempt to occur, the, could counter the speculation and enable fair taxation, the parliament passed a bipartisan bill maintaining the old real estate transaction register, register the actual price. As part of the mandate, the Ministry of Interior commissioned a website on which people can find transaction records by street addresses. 
The site went live on October 16 to a flood of re um, requests and remained only intermittently accessible for most of October. Three days after the launch, a team of four Google engineers in Taiwan incorporated the ministry's data into their real price map website. Over overlaying aggregated price information on Google Maps with built-in features. Their remix was an instant success, serving hundreds of requests per second from Google App Engine without a hitch. However, after sensational media coverage pitted the team's short, uh, short stream budget of 500 dollars against the, the official site's million dollar disaster. The relationship became sour. The ministry used the crowding, crowding activity as a convenient excuse for their own service downtime. While critics questioned the legality of scraping and remixing government data, the incident came to a head on November 14th when the official site replaced all street addresses with image files, dramatically increasing the burden of crawling, while a skilled hacker eventually published parsed data using OCR techniques. It is clear that the, intention, uh, the attention is of no one's benefit to anyone. The price map, the real price map site closed shortly the afterwards. And um, sorry. While the real price in, uh, incident was still unfolding, a new government production took a uh, spotlight. A 40 second propaganda video titled What's the Economy Power Up Plan? Come up. Entirely devoid, devoid of information, the clip simply repeated. We have a very complex plan. It is too complicated to explain. Never mind the details, just follow the instructions and go along with it. And the, okay, I'm not sure, should I? Um, the video went on air again on October 19, just before ya um, Yahoo Hacking Day. Um, on YouTube, the video went rival as viewers on YouTube rushed to click report abuse in protest. The automated system quickly classified the video as scam and banned the government's YouTube account for two days. And then on um, October 19, it's a Yahoo Open Hack Day. A team member of um, 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 switch um, their last, made a last minute switch in their project from online shopping project to um, to a, a website that visualized how government uh, spending their money, how, how government budget was being spent. This was in response to the failure, valued attempt to collaborate with, the, collaborate with the government on housing data visualization and to President Mars advertisement claiming that economy policy was too complicated for citizens to under, understand. So uh, after winning the prize, um, the team purchased the gov0.tw domain. Then it is they use the money to host its own hack zone dedicated to more political related oriented projects. This was the zero gov0 hack zone. On the registra registration websites, okay, this is a visualization uh, plan. Okay, so, uh, the um, organizer said people are frustrated and think they, can, they can't change anything, but with little efforts from everyone, we can make it even less efforts for more people to 
um, to effic effectively care about things. 50.tw did a budget visualization and won a prize from Yahoo Open Hack Day 2012. We are using the prize to host another hack zone to accelerate the change that needs to happen. The organizer um, named the hack zone as um, named the zero hack zone of martial mobilization, invoking a rebellious image from the 1949 era civil war. The event is a big success. On December 1st, uh, 2012, 58 civic hackers built the venue and uh, presented their projects, covering a wide range of government uh, functions, including Congress, geographic, um, weather, electricity, healthcare, and many other areas. Lively discussion continue online at Hackpad and the IRC, well after the dialogue ev day, day long ev event. That was the first hack zone and the 55th will be hosted next January. This is a decentralized uh, civic tech, uh, civic collaboration experiment in Taiwan. The mission and the uh, vision is set in the GovBureau manufacture. We come from everywhere. We are citizens collaborating to bring about change. We are a polycentric community of self-organized contributors. We live open source. We have, long, we have fun and want to change the status quo. We are you. GovZero has its own root in the open source community in Taiwan. Almost all of the founding members and the early participants are contributors of Taiwanese open source community. These geeks know the open source way and believe this is the right thing that brings them and makes us the sustainable in impact. So we now have a upset open source community uh, conjecture surplus so people can use their free time to contribute and we have open data. But if you, your mission is to change the society, you cannot depend on developers and the engineers only. You need to invite more people to join. The organizers of the first hack zone already invite, invite developers, UI de designers, activists, legal experts, and the citizens who want to see things to change with the use of technology. So we need to communicate the citizens who want to change to, st to, things, to see things change. So the spe step two is introduce the, um, the activist community to the open source way. This is kind of, this w is um, sometimes could be very difficult. This includes introducing open technology, open source, open licenses, and open culture. The community encouraged the newbies to join the Slack and to communicate the sync and the sync with others, and encourage non-coders to write down <coughs> and encourage the non-coders. Instead of writing codes, they can write down his ideas, proposals, and the meeting minutes. These are very important contributions, as documentation is super important in the in a open source projects. And we will remind the contributor to use CC licenses. We will use uh, to use CC licenses, so the. for their work, so others can reuse and uh, remix their work. And the culture is, uh, open culture is above all more. The community promote collaboration instead of uh, collaboration or central coordination. Release early and release often. It, and the talk is, um, worse is ba better. If you send out something bad, you, you actually let others have a chance to improve it. It's good for the community. And also, talk is cheap. Show me the, uh, the code. These are the, so the, I will suggest um, 
so these are the men these are the ideas that that we will introduce to the non coders or if when they join the open uh, open when they join the, this open source community all of the sub zero projects are results of self organized open so source communications these actions are independent but connected at the same time the gap zero contributors, coders, and the non-coders share similar value and have consensus on the community uh, norms. This includes open source activism, transparency, equal, liberal, self-organized, public-centric, and fun. And we try to um, convince the people who don't code to use HackMD, Slack, uh, Google Sheet Works, Workspace, uh, GC, GitHub, open data for collaboration. And we also use Facebook, Instagram, uh, Flickr, Line to reach out to more potential participants. So after 10 years, um, we have um, a kind of a balance in the, within the community of uh, coders and the non coders the background of gov zero participants are most uh, most of them are engineers but we have students ngo uh, organizers pm social and marketing uh, staffs educate people from education uh, writers editors designers government and um, uh, researchers so the the uh, the community is very diversified and uh, w you can look at the um, three keywords of gov zero participants. Uh, the Python is very good, very big one, but we also have a law, a community ca uh, back backend, um, Japanese, uh, GIS, uh, and uh, <laughs> design. So this also shows the uh, diversify diversity of in within the community. So I would say um, the way the st the the ste step that we take to, to introduce, to include more non-coders in the, in the community is kind of success. And the gender ratio of GovZero Gov event participants are getting more and more balanced of, um, um, through the years. At first, uh, we have almost 80% uh, of male participants, but now we have uh, only 60% male and more female and um, um, non-binary gender participants. So the three keywords, to summarize, the three keywords of uh, um, Gov Zero is uh, open source, free software, uh, uh, open source, hands-on, and public spirited. And I would say, uh, according to uh, impact survey from our participants, um, we summarize the uh, GovZero col collaboration includes uh, open source, cross domain, and hack hands on and or activism. So here comes the a very difficult step how to keep the momentum going. I think if you have ever um, got, got involved in a community and be become organizers or, or kernel members, this is something you will uh, worry about a lot. Uh, so we analyze the elements of the ecosystem of the gov zero. So it, it, um, there are four uh, four um, major um, elements, which is gen. It means contributors. It could be individuals or NGOs. Song means hack songs and the collaboration tools. It means a field you can collaborate it with others. And the con issues, action items, which people can do something to uh, get a solution then. And uh, Yuan means source core documentation. Uh, it's a result of uh, the work of, of uh, collaboration. So you need the uh, contributors to come to the Hexum and uh, they to propose uh, his idea. So he has this three minutes uh, proposal time. And he met the first doc document to the Hexum. And in the Hexum, we need the translation between different uh, background uh, participants. Like I have to translate um, ideas from um, non-coders um, to the developers. 
And uh, we learn from peers in the hexons and uh, on the stack. And uh, recruit someone who, who has a skill you need and uh, set up a working group to get uh, to implement or get your project done, realized. And um, essential, um, if you want to make them uh, complete the, your, make your proposal come true, regular meeting is essential to make collaboration constant. So uh, when the source code uh, come out and um, they have impact to others and uh, this empower more contributors to join the hackathon. So this is a good is the best uh, practice of thing of things. This is the best we can expect. But sometimes and many many situations, um, things just cannot go through to the source code and the result, and it it, it went back and forth in hackathons and the issues. I think all of them all of you can understand this, and um, then. One thing is very important is uh, decentralized. Why we took decentralized uh, measures to avoid single single point val value? I want to introduce um, a book called The Rise of a Net uh, Nerd Pol Politics. I think the book describes something ha uh, things happens in in GovZero community very very precisely. It's, it ha it's that the, in the book, it said um, clampers um, include the people from computing, uh, law, arts, media, po poli politics, works in teams, and the teams mobilize crowd. It changed the politics situation. But in um, Taiwan, um, in Cup Zero, we, add, we added a, a very important um, elements, which is open source way. So this, I think this is uh, the, um, the, the reason that the community can last it for 10 years and has a huge impacts uh, um, domestically and abroad. So we have many, many different task force and projects within the um, GovZero community. So some um, contributor says GovZero is a common without fans with a uh, sign of GovZero manifesto. Anyone who agree with the idea and share the same value can walk in and uh, they or live freely. But everyone, I, I think all of you know the tragedy of commons. So you still need someone to maintain the infrastructure and uh, clean things for others. So here comes the Joseon uh, Tax Force. Um, Joseon consists of six volunteers to form a governance group with members rotating as a chairperson and the fundraising to hire full-time staff. The, these three full-time staff is, um, I think it's the uh, only st uh, paid, st um, paid staff in the community. All of other contributors are volunteer basis. So <clears throat> on the project basis to provide, uh, to provide stable manpower needed by the community for daily operation. So what does Joseon do? The three keywords establish, engage, and incubate. Est establish means a set of spaces for collaboration. So we maintain the infrastructure of the, such as uh, HackMD and the Slacks and the Google Workspace and also held, uh, hosted by um, Hackzone um, by monthly very regularly because we uh, the per, um, face to person face to per, face uh, in person uh, communication is a uh, very important even in uh, online community and engage we attract participants from different domains and areas and the incubate guide the newbies give support and aid new projects. Uh, with resources we have. The another thing I want to share is uh, open source enlightenment, um, which is a talk given by Alison Randall in 2012, just six mo um, eight months before um, the Gov Zero started its, its first hackathon. This is a very uh, useful and enlightened to me. Uh, in the talk, he mentioned a lot of words which we keep in mind when we um, run, the, um, run the community. 
and the principles we we work we make uh, we work to as organizer in the uh, jo Joseon, we work to make the Gabville participants who are using their spare time to contribute. This is very important. That people are not paid to do this, so it feels easy to collaborate and having fun and meaningful to to contribute. So easy to con com, uh, contribute. So we we give uh, clear instructions to for people to join, and we will remind people how to propo uh, propose their proposals, and invite people to um, definitely join a hackathon in person. And the clear uh, and the clear rules and the short slots in the Gov Bureau hackathon. We have a new base guide uh, before the uh, hackathon began. Three keywords: self introduction in ten seconds for everyone in the room. So we have a, a proposal in three minutes every uh, for every project. Short sharing in eight minutes. Demo of the day um, in five minutes. The slots is uh, very short, so you don't have to feel burdened by this. And we summarize the Gov Bureau community in nine minutes reading. Monthly updated for participants to know what happened in Gov Bureau in the past months. And uh, the within the hack zoom is a three minutes uh, pitch and the hack and the five minutes um, briefing. And during the the whole day, we just talk and uh, eat pizza and the fr fried chickens and have good time together. So fun is very important. We give fun fun elements in, in the community. We we have a lot of different ski stickers. This di each sticker shows different skills. So when you enter a hack zone, you can just pick up your uh, one stickers and put it on your page. If you don't want to talk too much, I know a lot of the geeks don't like to talk. But if you you like to provide your skills, you can just choose in like a Python on your stickers, on, on your page. And then someone who needs um, uh, contributors, we can write Pythons, can come up to you to ask for help. And uh, also during some projects, we also have the, this QT and a very easy way to participate in. And we even have uh, rockers to join the hack zone to, to have a small concert which uh, he, uh, we, we did not invite him, but <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Hackson is uh, his name is uh, alternative, uh, the, that is the forty-second Hackson, and uh, you know the forty-two is the alternate aut uh, ultimate uh, answer to the universe, right? So <laughs> he has uh, this rocker has an album at that time, the name of the album is forty-two. So we, when they saw, when he saw the name of the hack zone, he just feels so connected to the community, and he actually uh, is a, uh, a a developer and uh, Web3 developer and um, a rocker at the same time. So we had a re really great time at at that hack zone, and we are happy this is guy from Joe Song, and we have uh, this um, um, cars. Uh, annual cars and uh, OG Town would like to would uh, translate it from Taiwanese uh, from Chinese Mandarin to English for us. It's an open. Com uh, this is for the um, the cow year. <laughs> this it said open collaboration together near and dear. May the source be with you in this brave moon new year. We are just uh, doing um, working on the the. New Year's card for next year. So if you have any good ideas, please send it to me. And also the most Im important thing I think is meaningful to contribute. To contribute. Meaningful means in per can be very personal. Like um, some uh, senior Gov Bureau contributors said, many of us find their partners for a lifetime here. So people in the community are very happy together, and also they have this uh, very imp a huge impact to the society. Uh, to the society, we contribute uh, the co the community contributes to in the sunflower occupation, which changed the path of Taiwan, I think. 
and also we force the government to do change their law in uh, public money uh, con contrib con uh, donation. And we have provided the visualization of um, uh, air quality with uh, some other open source, uh, open hardware communities. These are, so people can, every people can read the uh, quality of the uh, air uh, from this website. And it was embedded in, in many schools' um, websites. And it was uh, forked in Thailand and uh, China too. And also the cases was put in the textbooks. And uh, we have this uh, aspect of government projects impacts in many different uh, SDG um, categories. And I think the government zero community become a very important pillar in within the uh, Taiwan. Taiwan. So um, we have met, so we will, I would like to go back to the motto of God, God Zero. Ask not why nobody is doing this. You are the nobody. So that's my share today. Thank you. So, uh, would, if you want, you can join the God Zero Slack. It's a join at g0v.tw. And uh, I'm Isabel, you can find me there anytime. Thank you.